some trouble with our slides. They're not working at the moment, but they're working on it. We're talking to uh, tech support in uh, Altspace about it. Okay, no problem about the slides. Um, can you hear me well, everyone? Oh, yeah. So you want me to go ahead and I can, uh, we're a little early yet. We got, we got about six minutes, but uh, I can go ahead and introduce you whenever you're ready. Yeah, please do. Thank you. Uh, okay. Welcome, everybody. This is DEF CON 30, Altspace VR DEF CON Group's uh, presentation. We're having a little technical difficulty with our slides, but they're working on that, and they're talking to Altspace VR tech support for it. In the meantime, our speakers can go through the slides. We can make these slides, uh, depending on the talk, we'll talk to the, the uh, presenters, not all of them want uh, may embargo their slides for instance but if they are willing to release them we'll make them available so people can download them also we're uh available on discord you can always talk to us on the defcon groups vr discord if you go to dcgvr.org there's links there to all that information so our next speakers are mauro eldrich and uh adan they're both from argentina um Mauro is an Argentinian hacker, founder of DC5411 in Argentina and Uruguay, specializing in hardware hacking and crafting members in madness, sorry, crafting madness of Ruby. Uh, he's a speaker at over 35 events, so he's, he's a very seasoned speaker. Adna Adan is a, also from Argentina hacker group, the, a member of DC5411. Uh, he's a junior hacker and developer learning uh, my way uh, by playing with different languages and boxes, or I hope I got all that right. So thank you for being here and uh, feel free to take it away. You just, you'll have to run your slides locally. Um, if, uh, if you pick up a mic here, I'll drop this one. You can pick up these mics and you'll be able to talk to everybody in the room. I'll also make sure I give you megaphone status, which means that no matter where you are on the stage, you'll they'll be able to hear you throughout the entire space. So let me set that up real quick. Okay, thank you for inviting us today. We're really happy to be here. Um, okay, since the slides are not working, we provide them on our Twitter and the channel uh, GitHub, where we are posting source code for what we're presenting today and also the slides. So feel free to follow from there. There's also a recorded demo that Adam um, produced the other day by playing with this. So free to watch there too uh, along. So okay, having said this, welcome to the talk, Exploits and Dragon, my device for today, and me from PC fifty four below. Our team today uh present the small tool that made Think how like uh the box on me but for the machine itself. It's not only uh, an announcement in place, but think what it comes like a game where you have a box, it has a name, it has a face, it has some quote, phrases, and you can show it you on the screen and also you go far back. Think about it like a box, you have to have it, but it won't have without putting it on the fat. So, when I say this, I'm going to um, uh, here is I'm from Argentina, the phone the DC5411. Um, I'm going to pass over the microphone to Adam to present. So, Adam, please. Hello there, my name is Adam Di Batista, and I am a junior hacker from Argentina. I spoke in the past for Argentina, India, and Bolivia, and this is my first time taking for the USA. I am really happy to be here. It will be in charge of showing the demo of Exploit and Dragon in some minutes. Okay. And, uh, going back to them, this will be an open source tool. So we are happy to share with you and to receive any kind of Contributions that you make. Uh, it doesn't matter the background, this means of security. 
in the country so you as much fun as love so I'm sure in the uh, as I say so so room Technical difficulties. Uh, ability to present slides has gone down.
me. You tell
but I could definitely see the GitHub screen there for a good bit of the presentation. Yeah, that, yes, I that, that, we, we put that screen up with the GitHub uh, link. The reason we did that is that people are using an actual VR headset uh, would not be able to see a, a URL that we posted. We also posted it over on the screen here on the side, but it got cut off. So they posted the actual GitHub page on a screen temporarily during the presentation so people could get the link. Uh, if you join the, the DEF CON groups VR, uh, if you go to DEF CON groups VR.org, you can connect to our Discord server. We can uh, give you the links that way as well. And uh, they've made their slides available on that GitHub page as well. So thank you to our speakers. That was an excellent presentation. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, if anybody has questions right hey. now that we'd like to ask our speakers, feel free to ask. Are you all avid D and D players as well? No, you know, uh, to be fully honest, I just saw some campaigns of D and D and Warhammer Forty K, but I never played myself. Okay. What was the hardest part of uh, making all this, would you say? Uh, the hardest part for sure was that uh, once you submit the form, we need to replace all the string you submitted to the Ruby template where they would, you know, to fill the API keys, the strings that the boss is going to say. And we use placeholders, you know, uh, we use a highly specific variable name which needs to be replaced with GSOP or it's something like uh, Unix uh, SAD, S-A-E-D. Um, the bad part is that this messes up everything because the backend sometimes will just catch a single quote or catch anything and it won't run at all. Um, debugging that part was really hard. Would you say when you started this project that you knew uh, what the end of it would look like exactly? Or was it just kind of an idea that just kind of grew like an initial idea? 
Well, this is a, a really early stage. We, we can't exactly figure out how many conditions we, we wanted to implement. Actually, we have a list of all the things we would like to see implemented, but we yet can materialize lots of these ideas. So, and, and that's a good thing for me that part of the projects, it's like, uh, it's like foreseeable. We can see how it will look like, but another part is still quite uh, ethereal. We can still yet figure out exactly how to make it. And that's fun because uh, you need to resort to a lot of people from different backgrounds to, uh, to ask like, hey, can we do this? Uh, can we get this information? Can, can this be done this, this way? So yeah, there are a lot of things that are still on the final, to be honest.